Hi and welcome to my maths class. What we're going to discuss today is how do we find the product of the following expression? Now this is a special kind of expression because number one it is a binomial bi binomial. What does that mean? That means in the first bracket I have two terms and in the second bracket I have two terms. So it is two terms times two terms. We can use the distributive law as discussed in our previous video to solve this. But because it is such a common question, there have been easier methods to solve this question. If we were using the distributive law, we would have said 2x and then we would have distributed it with the 2x and the minus 3y in the following bracket. Or we would have continued and we would have said minus y and we would have distributed it with the 2x and the negative 3y in the following bracket. But there are two easy methods to do this. When you are doing the distributive law, you always need your signs, numbers and unknowns. Secondly, you need to remember that the methods we use in this video are only for 2 by 2. If you are given two terms in one bracket and two terms in the other bracket, this method cannot be used in any other simplification. Now let's continue. The first method we are going to discuss is the FOIL method. Now you will see that even though we are doing the distributive law, the FOIL method is a method to make you remember how to do it easier. The F is the first terms. So I'm referring to the first term in each bracket. Again, when we're doing this, we have to remember our signs, numbers and unknowns. So 2 times 2 is 4x squared. Sign is positive, number is 4, and unknown is x squared. Then we are going to do O, which is the outer. The outer means the two outside ones. So 2x is the outside one on the first bracket, and minus 3y is the outside one on the second bracket, giving us minus 6 x y then we're going to do the inner the inner means the two that are inside minus and plus gives us a minus 2 x y then we've got last last means the last ones in each bracket negative and negative is positive 3y squared. Now when we're doing the FOIL method, remembering our work in the previous video when we discussed simplification, we had used signs, numbers and unknowns. The first concept was the multiplication. Then we had used signs, numbers and unknowns, but we had done addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction means are there any that are the same? The unknowns, are there any unknowns that are the same. In this question there is x and y is the same as this x and y. So we have 4x squared, it's not, there's no other expression that's exactly like x squared, but minus 6 minus 2, I am subtracting. So we've got minus 8xy. When we are subtracting, the unknowns do not change. Plus 3 y squared. The second method to do 2 by 2 binomials is to use the method called kitty cat. Again we have a binomial with two terms in each bracket. 1, 2, 1, 2. Now it's very similar to the foil. You'll see it's the same thing. It's just looking different. We got 2 times 2, which is 4x squared. What you would have called the first in the foil method. Then we've got minus y times minus 3y, which gives us positive 3y squared. Remember, at all times, I'm using signs, numbers, and unknowns, multiplication. 
Then we've got the smiles of the cat. Negative 2xy. And then we've got the big smile of the cat, which is negative 6xy. Now, once we've done the signs, numbers, and unknowns of multiplication, we need to look for like terms. And you will see that in the kitty cat, it always ends up being the last two. We are adding and subtracting. 4x squared has no like terms. Plus 3y, y squared has no like terms. But minus 2 minus 6 is negative 8xy. Now, in this grade, you need to be comfortable with the idea of putting things in descending orders of unknowns, which means you would write it as 4x squared minus 8xy plus 3y squared, giving you the same answer as the FOIL method. Thank you for watching this video.